An expansion project that would make the road three lanes between Phoenix and Tucson has been rejected by the U.S. Department of Transportation. News for Tucson's Daniel McFarland joins us from I-10 with more on how this latest move came about. Daniel. Well, Sean, we've all driven on the I-10 right here, and of course, as you go closer towards Phoenix, reach this bottleneck area where it goes from three lanes to two lanes, there was a proposal to bring that to three lanes all the way towards Phoenix, but it looks like it's going to be held off. On Tuesday, the U.S. Department of Transportation announced the nine projects that have been awarded a share of over a billion dollars for the new national infrastructure project. Secretary Buttigieg said in a statement, after receiving over 100 applications, we are proud to fund these nine infrastructure mega projects across the country to create jobs, strengthen our supply chain, expand our economy, and renew America's built landscape. Knowing that this section of I-10 has caused accidents and is a huge thoroughfare in the western part of the country for trade, Arizona Senators Mark Kelly and Kirsten Sinema responded saying, given the significant impacts of this heavily trafficked corridor for interstate and international trade and commerce and the opportunity to improve highway safety, we are disappointed that the U.S. Department of Transportation did not award a mega grant for the project. The United States Department of Transportation did not award a $360 million mega grant to the Arizona Department of Transportation to widen the 26 miles of I-10 on the Gila River Indian community, which are only two lanes in each direction. The remaining stretches of I-10 between Phoenix and Tucson are at least three lanes each way. The nine projects that ended up being approved were said to be in worse condition, and that is why they were chosen. The most expensive approved project was a $292 million project for the Hudson River Tunnel in New York City. Now, there is going to be another application process in a few years, so the project isn't entirely dead. It's just going to be put on hold for now, but maybe by 2025 or 2026, when the next application rolls around, we could eventually be in that round that do get accepted. Back to you.